In this video, we're going to show how to program sensors using the MView software to program the M controller. So this is what the screen is going to look like. Uh, all the action takes place on the left-hand side. Uh, the sensors, we're going to press sensor 0 through 15 button. And this is where we're going to assign the sensors. Once the sensors have been addressed, we're going to use four sensors for our example. Two are going to be CO. We're going to change the last two to NO2. And once that's done, we're going to choose the relay style. We're going to use two relays, relay one and relay two, for our two separate alarm levels. Uh, this can be set up to normally energize the relay to make the relay latchable. But what the important thing we're going to do is we're going to enable these as voting with the voting number of one. So that means if any one of those sensors reaches an alarm level, it's going to turn the relays on. Okay, so now we're going to assign the sensors to the relays. So for relay one is going to be our first alarm level. So we're going to select the sensors. The on concentration or CO is going to be 25 parts per million. The off is going to be 20 parts per million. So we have to do that with each CO sensor. And for NO2, we're going to set that up for the first alarm level is going to be one part per million. The second is going to be 0.8 that we turn it off at. Now we're also going to set these up to fault enable. So if anything happens to these sensors, let's say they get broken, somebody backs into it, uh, gets vandalized, that will automatically be a message for the controller to turn the fans on. So we're now going to do this same thing for relay two, which is the second alarm level. And for CO, we're going to make that 50 parts per million on and 40 parts per million off. And for NO2, the on level is going to be three parts per million. The off level is going to be one. And then once this is done, all, we, all you have to do is do a search download and then write download. That will then download the program into the M controller. One thing that's very important when you do this is when you to make sure that your laptop is on battery power and not plugged in. Usually the portable ground cord, the portable power cord is grounded and that can cause an issue. So this is all there is to using the MView software and programming an M controller. 